hello. All right, so if you want to become a social media manager, I want to tell you that now is the best time to do it. This type of business lets you work from home. It actually lets you work from anywhere in the world. And if you want to achieve freedom and flexibility in your schedule, be able to stay home with your family, this is one of the perfect things that you can offer if you want to have your own business. Now, here's the deal. This type of business is super easy to start because you don't have to like buy products. It's not like you're starting an e-commerce business and you got to buy products and inventory. That's really hard to start up, right? If you want to just start getting paid as a social media manager, you can get your like your first couple of clients just by talking to friends and family and going out in your community and networking. When I first started my social media management business 10 years ago, I was actually out of work and I was a single mom with my son. I wanted something that would let me stay home from work that also allowed me to be really, really creative. And I wanted to be able to stay home and be with my son. I wanted to have flexibility. I wanted to be able to take care of my family whenever I wanted. That was one of my driving factors when starting my business. And here's the deal. There are so many small businesses in your local community who need help with social media and not just where you live, but all over the world. You can get clients from anywhere. You don't have to go out. You actually don't even have to leave your house. You can actually network online. You can use Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn to find business owners who need help with those very same platforms, right? So many businesses like doctor's offices, health and wellness um, centers, um, coaches, life coaches, speakers, authors, bloggers, okay, consultants, other agencies, consulting firms, businesses who sell products, right? They need help with Instagram. They need help with LinkedIn. They need help with Twitter. And there is just so much that goes into running a social media marketing campaign as far as scheduling content, making sure you post at the right time, that a lot of business owners just don't have the time to do it themselves. And that's where social media managers come in. Now, here's the beautiful thing. You can work for yourself. You don't have to do this for a company. You can start your own social media manager business. When I started my business, 10 years ago, it was actually in the middle of a recession, okay? <laughs> actually, there was like, people were losing their jobs, people were losing their home. I mean, it was really bad, it was really, really bad. And I was able to network. I went in my local community, I started networking. I started also networking online on platforms. And I was able to get my first couple of clients. And I built up my, porf my portfolio after working with a one, you know, one or two clients and I would go and raise my prices after I got to like the third client. I just kept raising my prices. You don't have to have a lot of experience to get started. That's one of the common myths people have about getting started. You don't have to have a lot of experience. You don't have to know every single platform there is, okay? You can get started by just starting out with the types of social media platforms that you feel comfortable with. Now, here's the other thing. A lot of you watching me right now you're spending a lot of time on social media, okay? So why not just get paid for it, right? Why not just get paid to, to do what you already like doing? You're browsing, you're looking at YouTube videos, you're looking at Instagram stories, you're looking at social media um, stuff on your Facebook feed, you're watching videos on Facebook, right? Why not get get paid to actually help people with that very same thing that you're spending time on, that you're consuming content from, right? And so if you enjoy being creative, if you enjoy helping people, and most, most importantly, you have to be someone who is very creative. You like to come up with new ideas. You like to learn about new things. And you like creating things. Then this is one of the best businesses to start. And here's the deal. There are so many small businesses, right, starting and growing. Small businesses are growing like at a huge, huge rate because the internet has made it so easy for people to start a business, right? And as these startup companies, as, as these small businesses are growing, they need more and more help to reach their ideal customers on social media. And so what you need to be doing is positioning yourself as someone who can help them save time and make more money by reaching their ideal clients and customers on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. All right, so I hope that that gave you some ideas. If you're interested, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think and what questions you have. I'd love to hear and see your feedback. All right, take care, bye.